so we have an airplane problem here. Um, two planes heading off in different directions, uh, determining how far apart they are after a certain amount of time, given their distance from where they started. Um, so let, let's lay this out and really drawing a diagram is probably the smartest way to get started and get organized. So here we are, let's treat up as north and then east and west. And so let's take a look at that first plane. It's going 650 kilometers at a bearing of north 37 east. So we remember that when it's laid out like that with that bearing, um, you're facing north, that north is your reference point, that first direction, and then you're going to turn 37 degrees from that reference point, from facing north. Now, do you turn to the left or to the right? Well, in this case, we're told that we're turning 37 degrees east. So we can draw that like this and say we turned 37 degrees in there from the north towards the east. And we'll say that is 650 kilometers. Okay, uh, looking at the other plane, 825, and this time 53 degree, north 53 degrees west. So again, north as a reference, and then we're going to turn 53 degrees. Which way? Not to the east this time, but towards the west. So we can draw that in like that. And we would say we were facing north and we turned 53 degrees towards the west. And this one, a little bit longer, 825 kilometers. All right. So uh, we can close that in and make a triangle out of that. And uh, let's see what we can do with this. Now, looking at this, you should start to recognize uh, cosine law situations. That is, we're looking for a particular side. We know the angle across from that side, um, or we can figure it out in this case. We're just going to add those. And we also know the other two sides. So, uh, yeah, it looks like a nice cosine law example. So let's call this C here, just so that it kind of aligns with our equation nicely. And so we remember that cosine law C squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos, that angle across from the side c, which is angle c. All right, so I guess at this point we should probably determine what angle c is, um, and that's this whole angle in here. So 53 plus 37, so 50 and 30 is 80, and 3 and 7 is 10, so this is 90 degrees. So that's interesting. Okay, so we set it up. Um, it could have just as easily been 80, 89, 91, what, whatever, and we could have solved it using this. As it turns out, it comes out to exactly 90 degrees. So makes you think, okay, right triangles, and we could have got, just gone with basic trig ratios. But let's see how this all shakes down, because the cosine law should work out fine either way. So uh, filling in some numbers here, we have 825 squared plus 650 squared minus 2, 825, 650 cos, and in this case, it's 90. Now, if this was uh, simply a, in other words, had we recognized this as simply a, a trig ratio, basic trig ratio kind of problem, then all of this stuff here we would just ignore because we would just treat it like regular old Pythagorean theorem. Um, so what does that tell us about cos 90? Well, you plug that into your calculator and cos 90 is zero. So that's a zero at the end being multiplied by everything. So all of this stuff turns out to be zero. So indeed, uh, cosine law works perfectly fine, but it's overkill because you can see that once we plug in that 90 degrees to recognize it as a right triangle, suddenly we're back to regular old Pythagorean theorem and all that other stuff kind of disappears. Okay, so that's, that's worth understanding uh, as we work with cosine law for sure. 
So uh, let's finish it up, nevertheless. Uh, C squared, and we square those in atom, uh, probably using your calculator. 3, 1, 2, 5. And now we want to square root that. And so we square root that, and we come up with 1,050 kilometers. And that's how far apart they are at that point. So.